Okay, today I'm going to show you how to splice filament. Two pieces of filament with a simple tool, just like this. It's got a hole through it, separates into two pieces. I'll show you how to make this at the end. Really easy. So, you're going to need a candle or a lighter that stays lit. I prefer the candle because it's a little cleaner. So all you need to do is heat the two ends, but don't let them char because any bit of char will get stuck in your nozzle. So you just heat them down at the base here so they stay nice and clean. Do it slow. And you'll see when they're starting to melt. And then take and jam them together. doesn't have to be pretty and cool it off until it's solidified it looks like that it's pretty ugly not a problem so now you take your flush cutter and you just trim away whatever excess you can and you end up with a little bit nicer looking piece so this tool here is just two pieces of metal with with a hole drilled through the split so that you can when you're doing a whole spool you can just separate these and take it off and all I do all I do is take the tool and put it over the splice so that it's through this notch and then just take your pliers squeeze it and that will cold force that filament into shape the first time you do it you'll end up with some stuff on the sides just trim the sides and then turn it 90 degrees and do it again If you really want to be particular, you can roll it around a little bit and squeeze it a few more times. But what you end up with without too much work is a really nice splice that will pass through your extruder. And it's pretty tough. And it's not completely as tough as regular filament, but I mean, you can eventually break it, but it's enough to pass it through your printer. Okay, so to make something like this, you find two pieces of metal or even a pair of pliers that has two flat faces, you could use that. All you need to do is put this in your vise. You take a number 50 drill bit, which is uh, .070. You put the drill in the bit. And then all you gotta do is in your vise, when you have this in your vise, just drill right through the edge and it'll pretty much guide itself right through and then you know brush it smooth get all the burrs off and that's your tool it's as simple as that you can get a number 50 drill bit in your hobo freight kit hey guys if you like my content please subscribe help me reach my goal of a dollar 65 on youtube thank you